Hello YouTube, I am back. It is so MCA. It's been a minute. Today I got my uh drum off t-shirt on. Shout out to Quasi, Fat Boy Robinson. My boy who uh got to the top four, went out to California. Uh, amazing, amazing drummer. Anyways, um today's video is Jesus You Died for Me. It was requested by Fletcher Valentine, and uh, the song is by Hezekiah Walker. Fletcher, you are trying to murder me. So YouTube, if I go missing again, just know it's Fletcher that's trying to kill me. Uh, not so much this song, but there's a couple others by Hezekiah. He has asked me to break down, and uh, Hez is a beast, and Hez's musicians are beasts. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, so I finally got some time today from my busy schedule, and so I want to jump into this without too much delay. Give you guys a video. I don't know when the next one is going to come, but um, I will get to them as promised to each and every one that I owe. I know, Fletcher, I got two more for you, and there's one more I have um, for another gentleman after you. All right, so this song is it's going to get interesting. I think it's in C sharp. It's in C minor, I believe. But for ease of understanding and for clarity, I'm going to explain it as if we are playing in E flat major okay so the song is actually in c minor but i'm going to explain it as if we're playing it in e flat major all right for those that understand relative minors uh if we're in the key of e flat the c would be the relative minor of the e flat major scale okay don't worry about how it works right now if you don't know um Go look it up on YouTube somewhere if you if you really want the understanding. Just know for right now, what I'm saying is going to work. It, it just it works. All right, so uh, let's get some housekeeping things done. So my B string is um, detuned to B flat or A flat, uh, A sharp. Sorry, B flat. Um, e string is detuned to E flat. A string is de detuned to A flat. D string is detuned to D flat, and G string is uh, detuned to G flat, okay, or F sharp. So in E flat, for this song we're gonna need. Well, let me give you the major scale again. E flat major: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, the octave. Um, for this song we're gonna need. We'll just keep all our regular numbers as we do. We are going to need a, um, so one, two, three, four, four sharp. We're gonna need that somewhere. Five, six, flat seven. We're gonna need somewhere seven and eight, all right? So the song starts out with this nice little um, bass solo, which is slapped. No, I'm not big on slapping. Um, so it starts out six, three. Okay, so those notes are six, three, four, one. All right, six, three, four, one. Now what I do is um, I'm hitting the octave of each thing, and I'm actually sliding from the five of the six into the six. Okay, that's the five right there. Sliding into the six, and then octave six, three, three octave. Okay, so from the five sliding to six, from the uh, then to the three octave, then I slide from the three to the four octave. I don't know why I'm not um, sounding tuned on on that string, but just believe me, it's a one and a and a high one octave. All right. Okay. And that's the intro, and then at the end of the intro is this shot right here. Okay, and that's a reoccurring shot that happens in the song a couple times, and that is um, two, three, three, five, six, six. Okay, two, three, three, five, six, six. Two, three, three, five, six, six. Two, three, three, five, six. Okay. Um, you can also do it here. Uh, that string is not tuned. Even though I tuned it. Sorry, y'all. You could do it there too, all right? But I like it here, and you'll see why for 
reasons later. Okay. Um, then we get into the song, uh, Jesus, you died for me. And it was still at that same progression. Six, three, four, one. But they double everything. Six, six, three, three. You, four, four, one, one. Mm -hmm. right. Six, three, three. Four, four, one, one. Six, six, three, three. Four, four, one, one. All right. Um, then we go to this next part. I won't forget. And that's uh, two, three, four. Two, three, four, six, four. Okay. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, six, four. All right. It's two different uh, fit, like an A part and a B part. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, six, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, six, four. All right, and that's the uh, I won't forget. So all together, you've got uh, one, two. next part. I won't forget. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. Then it'll go back around to, or then it'll go to. Oh, Thank you, you died for me. All right, that's going to start on a two. Uh, oh, thank you, you died for me. Okay. Oh, thank you, you died for me. All right, and all that is is two, one, seven, flat seven, Six. All right. So we see where that flat seven came in already. So two, one, flat uh, seven, flat seven, six. Okay. All right. So um. So off of that other part, you got two, three, four, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, two, three, four, six, four, and oh, oh, oh thank you, you died for. And there's this little lick he does. Uh. Okay. So we'll break that into two parts. It's basically like doing a, think about a major pentatonic out of the, the F. Um, uh. Okay, so the first part. Is just a um, let me give you the numbers two, three, four sharp, six, seven, back to the six, two, three, four sharp, and there's our four sharp, uh, six, seven, six. Okay, if you want to look at it like a pentatonic shape right there, all that is is a pentatonic, but we're doing it out of the two. And treating the two as if it was a major in this case. All right, but two. Okay, and there's some sliding in there. And that's a hammer off. That seven, six is more of a hammer off. Two, three, four, six, seven, six. All right? And there's this next part, and I'm abbreviating what he did. He The lick goes a little longer, but it's. Uh, and then he keeps going. Da -da 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 -da. But uh, it gets a little blurry with some of the other stuff going on, and I don't want to give you the wrong notes for the rest. So you can do this. It'll put you in position where you need to be next and still sound like you know the whole lick, all right? Um, so what that part is, is a high six, six, five, six, five, three. That's all it is. Six, five, six, five, three. Okay, so uh, all together that part would be Oh, oh, Lord, thank you, you died for me. Okay? That's it. That's it for that part, okay? And it'll go back to the chorus, and the second time the chorus happens, there's one thing I want to bring to your attention. So they keep that, um... But then the second time he does... Okay? Um, and all I did that second time was six, six, three, three, 
four four one seven flat seven okay regular way there's this time with the change okay and you can you can slide that whole thing down and not for every not play every single one of those notes all right so we're pretty much done the majority of the song then there's this uh musical interlude piece but it's using the same notes we've already used um with a different syncopation this time it's uh uh Yeah, uh, there it is. Okay, so two, three, four. This is part A. Two, three, uh, two, two, three, four, six, three. All right, which we did earlier. Again, that part A is. Two, three, four, with a space. Two, two, three, four, six, three. Okay? That's the first part. The next part is the same beginning. Two, three, four. And then two, two, three, four, six, 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 two, three, four. All right. Um, let me do the last part again. Two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, six, six, six. All right. So what's your part A? Two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, six, three. Uh, yeah, six, three. Then your second part, part B. Two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, six, six, six. Three. And forgive me if my syncopation is off. I'm trying to call it off in memory. I feel like that part B, the syncopation on those sixes, is a little off. But you get the point. Those are the notes. More importantly, those are the notes, and I don't know why my camera keeps losing focus. Um, sorry about that, y'all. So, that's that of the song, and then the last part uh, out of that is the thank you, I thank you, Lord, you died for me, you died for me. So, that just goes to a, and it doesn't do this, the part B. They just run that part right there. The whole time right and then there's this hit um uh, uh, all right and uh believe it or not it's actually really simple it is just a major scale they start at the three they go to the five they go down to the sharp four and come back to the five and it happens with this like triplet type feel so um uh, should be six notes total or seven notes total. Eight notes in total, sorry. So three, two, one, seven, six, five, four sharp, five. slow I feel like my syncopation is off with that too because I feel like it comes in at a different point but um that is actually the hit though now if I'm wrong anyone out there you can definitely correct me but I do believe that's what it is because it's like a triple it triple it da, da, triple it triple it da, da. three two one seven six five four sharp five 
you were to slow it down, trip on that. Uh, and then go straight back into that. All right, and that's the whole song. So hope that that helped you, uh, Fletcher. Um, hopefully you can get through your gig, through your church playing that song. Uh, pretty easy up until that last part is really where the trickiness is going to get. And it's really hard to get the fingering you need for that down. So practice it slow, get it up to speed, and then you'll be set. Um, I think I missed a hit at the end, too. Nope. Oh, no, 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 I'm good. All right. So that's that's the whole song that's going to repeat all of the parts that you need are already there. Just um, move them wherever you need to move them. Like, subscribe, leave a message. If there's something you want me to cover, let me know. Have a good one, guys.